Hello, I'm Jim Gallagher. I'm with BC Comfort Air Conditioning and I'm a service sales uh, customer account manager. I've been with BC Comfort for over 30 years and I've been in the air conditioning industry for more time than I care to remember. Lots of different reasons, but one of the main reasons I find, and this might be me just talking a little bit out in left field, one of the reasons I find is that air conditioning tends to be forgotten about. People like to spend money on their furniture, on their carpets, on the pictures on their wall. Poor air conditioning unit, it's stuck up on the roof usually, and it's forgotten about. It's money that people don't want to spend because you don't see it. But what happens when you have problems with your air conditioning system? Major issues. Your staff are unhappy, you're unhappy, usually your property manager's unhappy, and nobody's comfortable. What do you do about it? Well, it pains me to say this, but actually, if you spend a little bit of money looking after your air conditioning system, and it's relative to the cost of the system, you spend some money looking after it, doing proper maintenance and doing proper service, you won't have these kind of problems. Now, that's, that's not exactly true. I'm not saying you won't ever have any problems. But the incidence of problems that you're going to have with tenant and occupant comfort, with breakdowns, are going to be significantly reduced. But you have to do maintenance. After all, you wouldn't buy an expensive car and drive it around and not take it to the shop for an oil change and a check. You spend almost as much on air conditioning but once it's up on the roof, it's out of sight and out of mind. I want to talk to you a little bit today about some air conditioning issues and I want to show you some examples of what can happen when you don't do proper maintenance and some of the things that you can find out when you do do proper maintenance that can prevent major issues. There's nothing worse than unexpected repairs. Unexpected repairs, they come out of the blue, you haven't budgeted for them, and now you've got to deal with them. And you don't have any choice because you've got to shut the air conditioning system down. You're going to have people walking out the job. Don't want that. Spend a little bit of money, do some proper maintenance. When you get a report that indicates there are repairs that are required, do the repairs. Air conditioning, it's mechanical systems. They don't holistically heal themselves. In other words, if it's bad this time around, this month, it's only going to get worse next month. You know that and I know that. Anecdotally, I could give you a thousand stories, but the fact is, there's a cost that has to be incurred. If you can face the fact that you're going to have to pay for maintenance, you can address that, get it in your budget, you're going to eliminate a lot of future headaches down the road.